Hi, welcome to this thyroid website. We're going to discuss in great detail what is going on with your thyroid and how you can effectively and safely help your thyroid even if you've tried many other methods in the past. I want to discuss certain uh, topics with you, then I'll describe who I am and we'll get into what my uh, testing and treatments are in just a couple of minutes. There are about 20 million Americans that are affected by thyroid disorders. That's one in 13. The majority are women. People are unaware of their thyroid problem and, that, and normally it gets even worse because they're not aware they have a thyroid problem. According to the National Women's Health Information Center, one in eight women will experience a thyroid disorder in their lifetime. The reason why this fact may surprise you is because you probably never heard it explained to you. That's because most doctors are vaguely familiar with thyroid disorders. If you're willing to play a Russian roulette with your thyroid and with your life, you don't need to listen to any more of this video. Are you tired? If you have a thyroid problem, are you tired of just taking drugs that aren't fixing the problem, different medications, whether you're on some of the common ones like Armour or Synthroid? Do you continue to struggle with chronic thyroid symptoms day in and day out? Like fatigue, tired, sluggish, cold feet and hands. Do you require excessive amount of sleep to function? Do you gain weight easily? Do you have difficulty in frequent bowel movements? These are signs of hypothyroidism. Are you depressed? Do you suffer from depression? Lack of motivation? Do you suffer from morning headaches that wear off as the day progresses? Do you feel like you're losing eyebrows, the outer third of your eyebrows are being lost? Are you losing hair on the top of your head? I see females who are losing their head, they're going bald, and it can either be caused, it could most likely be caused by a hypothyroid function or malfunction. Do you have mental sluggishness? Hyperthyroidism problems. Do you suffer from heart palpitations? Do you suffer from inward trembling? Do you have an increased pulse even at rest? Are you nervous and emotional? Do you suffer from insomnia? Do you suffer from night sweats? Do you have difficulty gaining weight? Most often misunderstood about the thyroid, people can have both of those labels of symptoms for hyper and hypothyroidism, or just one hypo or hyper. And they may be suffering from a condition that's never even diagnosed, it's called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And it's an autoimmune disorder where the patient's immune system is attacking the thyroid. If you're not doing a complete thyroid panel in the blood test, you're going to miss this, this diagnosis. And if you miss this diagnosis, it doesn't matter how many of the medications the doctor is giving you, and they can double up. I have patients tell me my doctor gave me Synthroid. It wasn't working. They doubled the Synthroid. It didn't work. They brought it up even more. They brought it up five times in a year to two years. They've added more Synthroid to my system, and I'm still feeling the same way. Why, 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 why? We'll talk about that in a moment. Your thyroid influences every living tissue in your body. There are 10 systems your thyroid depends on and 10 systems that are dependent on the thyroid, from liver function to fat metabolism, cholesterol metabolism, brain function, cardiovascular function, bone metabolism, bone density, sugar. There's a number of things in the body that really depend on hormone production. Depends on the thyroid. If the thyroid's off, everything in your body can be off. Your thyroid regulates all these tissues to run normally. The thyroid also depends on those systems to maintain itself, especially gastrointestinal and liver. It's very dependent on thyroid, and the thyroid is very dependent on gastrointestinal and liver function. That's very important to understand. My name is Dr. Herman. Let me, let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Lonnie Herman. I practice in Broward County, Florida. And uh, I went to school to become a chiropractor. And I realized after a couple of years, not even a couple of years in practice, I realized, and I'm going to make my story very short here, I realized that people were not getting well whether they went to a chiropractor who chiropractors think they can help a thyroid problem. And I'm not saying sometimes there aren't miracles that happen, but we can't just work based on a philosophy and an idea. And I have patients who've been going to the endocrinologist. I heard patients who were going to their internist and going to their general physician and trying different medications and still living with a problem. So a couple of years ago, I went back to school. I'm getting a, a PhD in functional neurology. Chiropractors have an extra three-year school that we can go to to get a functional neurology degree. Functional means that we can assess brain function and not just medicate it, but actually get brain function normal through other methods, other techniques and diagnostic strategies. But in this functional neurology school, 
I came across, I, I, I love this man. He's one of my mentors. His name is Dr. Datis Karazian. And Dr. Karazian wrote an Amazon bestseller on the thyroid, and it's the most updated, most advanced and exciting and amazing book on thyroid function. If you have it, I've been trained by him. I've taken his classes. He's a mentor of mine. If you don't have this book called Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms When All of My Lab Tests Appear Normal, if you don't have this book, get it. Go right now to Amazon. Come back to my video in a minute. Order that book. You need to read that book and you'll understand that you most likely have missed so much of the mark on understanding why the thyroid is still a problem with your body, why you're still dealing with those symptoms. He is my mentor. I've taken 23-hour college accredited class with him called Mastering the Thyroid. Actually, I've taken my brain neurotransmitter class with him, immunology class with him, blood chemistry, and gastrointestinal functional classes with Dr. Karazian. This book is amazing. Get it. When you're listening to this video, you're going to understand that there's what we call a neuroendocrine immune axis that must be evaluated completely in order to help your thyroid. Let's discuss the type of blood panels we use. There are, indic there are incomplete blood panels, and there are complete and necessary blood panels. Incomplete thyroid blood panels may be the doctor just ran a TSH and a T4. If they're only running a TSH and T4, you're missing out. And they're only using lab ranges. When the doctors are using these lab ranges, they're going to look for lab ranges that say whatever the lab's ranges are making up. If you go in Miami, you go to Texas, you go to New York, they're all going to have a little different sway on what the lab's range is for the thyroid stimulating hormone. The ranges that we use are from the American Academy of Clinical Endocrinologists. And their lab ranges say the normal function of a thyroid gland in a human being, the physiological, physiological function of a normal thyroid gland is 1.8 to 3.0, folks. 1.8 to 3.0. One lab says it's 0.2 to 5.0. Another lab says it's 0.5 to 4.0. Another lab says it's 0.35 to 4.5. Which lab is right? None of them. Go with the real research top doctors in the country, the American Academy of Clinical and Neurochronologists. 1.8 to 3.0 is the normal TSH level. What we do, what's very comprehensive and necessary to understand what's going on in your body is we run the TSH, we run a total T4, we run a total T3, a free T4, a free T3, a reverse T3, a T3 uptake, TPO antibodies, TGB antibodies, and if somebody has too much hyperthyroidism, we'll run something called a TSI antibody. This only if we think there's a Graves disease in a person. But TSH, T4, T3, free T4, free T3, RT3, T3 uptake, and TPO, and TGB antibodies, are my standard thyroid test. Standard. They all tell us something different about your body. I help regulate a patient's thyroid function back to normal by viewing all these lab numbers in functional ranges. Inactive, okay, let's understand there are active and inactive thyroid hormones in your body. First of all, let's understand what happens with your thyroid. In order for your thyroid gland, which is right here in your throat, in order for this to work, it's told by your pituitary gland what to do. People have said, well, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. They put me on some medication. It got okay for a little while, but it's, I'm not doing good anymore. And no other medication is working. Maybe it's not a primary thyroid problem. Maybe it's a primary pituitary secondary thyroid problem. Has your doctor ever looked at that? If the pituitary is off, the thyroid is never going to work in the first place, no matter what it does. Second thing to understand is, in order for your TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, to make the thyroid work, TSH is like a, it's telling your thyroid, get to work. It's giving it a kick in the butt, making the thyroid do its job. When the thyroid's doing its job, it's putting out something called T4. Total T4 is, it's like, it's, it's a blind, deaf, and dumb hormone. In order for that T4 hormone to become active and help every living cell in your body, and there are millions of cells that depend on this hormone, in order for T4 to become active, it needs to first go through your liver. The liver, if it's functioning normally, the liver turns on only 60% of that T4 hormone into what we call active T3 hormone. When the liver functioning normally turns on active T3 only 60%, 
The other 40% that's not active yet has to go through your gastrointestinal system and it interacts with a normal functioning gastrointestinal mucosa to turn on the other 40% of that inactive T4 to make it an active T3 hormone. If you're just taking a thyroid stimulating hormone uh, pill and you're not looking at the liver, you're not looking at the GI tract, you may be taking a pill that makes the TSH look normal somehow, but you may have all these other parts that are not regulating normally. You've got to understand there are other parts of the body that will turn on or not allow that hormone to turn on. It is so important. So we look at, we do what's called the standard liver detoxification profile to tell us, is your liver even doing its job to turn the T3 on?